real ales making a comeback but you can get some real ales what are horrible <laughs> and you can get some gorgeous what we're going to now is a, a fantastic pub uh, what uh, serves Jules beers in fact it's on site this is where they make the Jules beers now They have a spring nearby and that's great for real ales. Uh, and they do it all here. Bernadette just giving a wave there. But the uh, the brewery's at the back uh, and it started again in 2010. But this place is marvellous. This is part of the uh, Red Lion now and you might just see as I walk round there's everything here this is this is just the beers they serve now in, in 30 odd years ago it closed down Jules and it used to be all over Market Drayton and uh, and then it, it started up again in 2010 I think it was and now it's making a heck of a comeback but this is a beautiful place and if you look closely across there I don't know if you can just through the window you can see some of the brewing rooms so it's absolutely fantastic and you won't get much better than this the beers are fabulous they serve some nice food as well. And you just look, all this solid wood, not your MDF, all your solid wood. Truly, truly special. And if I can be uh, torn away from my beers afterwards, I might try to uh, have a little look further round as well. really uh, it's really special and I think if I go in here now Bernadette will be ordering the beer for me and there we are so and beers are going to be served up now so once the beer starts I think uh, I think we have to stop thank you very much I'll get my beer and I'll speak to you later uh, we've come in early to get a table uh, I'm going to have a bite to eat and this particular beer which is one of the seasonal ones from Jules is the Lakota Arizona Pale Ale and it's gorgeous and nice and cold as well because it's still roasting <laughs> and it's that nice that beer that uh, Bernadette's had the same as me today, so we'll see what she thinks of it. I think it's the drink of the day. <laughs> well, you can't get better than that. Um, it is gorgeous, and perhaps we'll try... Uh, I've got my eye on something called number 37 afterwards. Uh, that's supposed to be another seasonal spring drink. Uh, perhaps I'll have one of them next. But it's hard life doing this, you know. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see some of these signs. But uh, they're quite interesting reading. I'll just show a couple. All these bits of history are everywhere. And why is it called the mouse room? Well, scattered about on every piece of solid wood is one of those. It's just fantastic when you get a proper pub. Right, another Jules beer. Now, 
In that previous uh, video, I said I was going to have the beer tonic, uh, Jules, just tell it what it's actually called. Yeah, it's called just Jules number 37. But, a change. This is Jules own pale ale, and it's fabulous. So, I've had that before, so I thought, keep with something you really like, and that is a an umdinger, to put it mildly. Just something else as well here. Um, as well as being a, a really great uh, pub, and like I said, with the brewery attached, uh, the staff have always been friendly. Uh, and we did say that we are going to uh, put this pub on our YouTube channel. And they're very kindly, for the second time, because we've got one from uh, 2015, but they've presented us with some uh, special t-shirts, and these are special because they're not available everywhere. And I'll just show it you, and when we're on the boat, we'll wear these and uh, do some videos there. Not every day. Here, yeah, not, not every day, no. <laughs> Who knows, we might get some other t-shirts as we go along. So that's the ones they've given us, which was very kind of them. So that's summer 2017, that one. Love beer, love pubs. Can't get much better than that. So that's what you get with a proper pub, with a proper brewery and proper beer. Absolutely superb. So I'll give you uh, a little comment on some of the beers. Um, Bernadette's give a comment on one of hers. But this is one of our favourite. I'm getting properly lagered with Green Monkey Craft Brewed Lager. Top marks. Keith doesn't know I'm doing this, but this is the old part of the Red Lion at the Jules Brewery in Market Drayton. I've got control of the camera. Oh dear. Oh. And there's the uh, spent grain, which uh, obviously comes shooting out of that tube, or the tube both ends every now and then. And it smells absolutely tremendous. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> God, well, I told you we'd uh, start to show you uh, more and more things and be a little bit different. And I'm sure this is. Now I don't know if you can see all that inside, I hope you can. All the brewing processes are done down there. Yeah, I know. Uh, goes through a lot to get us our pint of beer. I don't know if you're going to get this because it might reflect, but I hope you can. Because it's nice to see all this sort of stuff.
even if we only get a bit, it's nice to uh, to see where your lovely beer comes from. And behind there, everything goes on for your lovely flavours and beers, but that's very, uh, very secret. And if you're short of a few uh, barrels when you're cruising along and that, I think there might be a couple spur there somehow or other. <laughs> oh, I just love things like this. Absolutely love it. So it's a big thumbs up for Jules Ale, a real, real, a real ale, cask is the word. So I hope you've enjoyed that because I've enjoyed having the drinks and doing the video.